Growing up in Lebanon, I mean, was great, obviously, but the expectation, the societal expectation, at least at my generation for women, were you get married. Success is if you get married, you have a nice family, etc. So I remember at 18 talking to my classmates, you know, what are you going to go to? Where are you going to go to university? What are you going to do, do next? And it was more the, the questions from the girls. Did you, do you have a suitor? Are you going to get married soon or I after think you university? you have to speak louder. After university, thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and so my parents really encouraged us to pursue our education, both my sister and I. And I was one of the very few women, uh, girls that I knew who left uh, home at 18 to, to pursue my education abroad. And I think that helped uh, in setting the stage moving forward. Uh, I, wor I studied and worked abroad and then came back to work in the Middle East. And there I, I faced quite a lot uh, of, uh, of challenges, as you can expect. I, I, uh, in my TED talk, I speak about one example where, you know, quite advanced in my career, as I was hoping to make partner, I get my boss suddenly telling me, uh, in, in, a, in a moment, uh, in a heated moment, uh, you know, you're a very bad role model for all these young women because uh, once a woman gets married her, and has kids, her role is to stay, her, her place is in the home. So what are you doing? And that was like a moment of truth. Where do I go from there? I had other examples where um, I had agreed with, a, with a, my superior that I would present uh, the, the work to the client, and I get there, and we, we, get, we go there, and he starts to present and that goes through the whole presentation, and then at the, at the end, I'm like, uh, whatever your name, uh, I thought we agreed that, you know, I was going to present this with this work. And he said, but you're too pretty. Didn't you see there were seven guys there? They would never have been able to concentrate on what you're saying. <laughs> and when I, got, when I got pissed off and I said, you know, we're not at a bar. You're not picking me up. So what the hell are you doing? Why are you getting upset? Any other girl would take this as a compliment. So these were the kinds of things that you, that you just face and, and that you know, are, are common. And so you just have to, I think one of the key rules is uh, really, really build a very deep belief that you're going to make it and never let anyone touch that belief. You know, I'm going to make it and I'm going to be an amazing mother and have a fulfilling career.